Nuclear fission is used to generate energy in a nuclear reactor, but too much of this reaction can be dangerous. So how do we prevent nuclear power plants disasters from happening? The reactor needs to be encased in concrete shielding because the products of fission reaction are radioactive, which can be a hazard. We need some fuel rods inside the reactor. They can be made of uranium or plutonium. What exactly happens inside of a fuel rod? An incoming neutron splits the uranium or plutonium nucleus. During this process, another neutron will be released and the two neutrons can move on to cause more fission reactions in other uranium or plutonium nuclei. But there's a slight problem. The neutrons released move around at very high speeds. This makes it difficult for them to be absorbed by a nearby fuel rod. We need a moderator to slow the neutrons down so that they can easily be absorbed. We can use graphite as a moderator. What if there are too many chain reactions going on? Too much fission can lead to overheating of the reactor. When the rate of reaction is too high, we need to lower control rods to absorb neutrons preventing them from traveling between fuel rods. Once the chain reactions are reduced to a safe rate, we can then raise the control rods. A typical nuclear reactor functions at 300 degrees Celsius. That's a lot of thermal energy. You want to pump coolant, which could be water, into the reactor to absorb and transmit the energy out of the reactor. If we pump water into the steam generator, the steam created can then drive a turbine. The turbine generates electricity. To summarize, fuel rods are where fission reactions take place. The concrete shielding prevents radiation from leaving the reactor. The moderator slows neutrons down so that they can easily be absorbed by fuel rods. When the rate of reaction is too high, the control rods are lowered into the reactor to absorb excess neutrons.